Hey yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Chris Purpose back at it again with another Gems of War video for you guys. So in this one, I'm going to be starting a new series on the channel. Um, this series will be focused on the new glory troop that is added to the weekly event shop each week. And it's going to be focused on giving every single troop that's added to the game from now on a ranking. So the series will be called Viability Ranking. We're going to be looking at five different categories um, so as to examine how viable the troop is. And after we've finished looking at those categories, we're going to use it in a team. And then finally, we're going to give it a rank. Okay, so the troop that's been added this week is this one right here from Whitehelm. The troop is called Mechamir. So Mechamir is a mech beast uh, from Whitehelm. It has a blue-green mana color and a mana cost of 12. The troop spell is that it converts all red gems to green and all yellow gems to, to brown. And along with that, its traits are Stone Heart, in which it gains one life for each brown ally, Armored, reduced damage from skulls by 25%, and Fast, starts battles with 50% mana. So let's look first of all at the troops speed, which is very important in this game. Troop speed is one of the most important things in getting to your troop spell ready real quick so that you can cast it. And for one, this troop has a final trait of fast, so it will start battles with 50% mana. So in that respects, um, you don't have to worry about getting a half mana start troop into your team or even getting a hero class that has a half mana start this troop by itself already has a 50% mana start. Now, an additional category that we're going to be looking at is immunities slash reduction to spell and skull damage. Now, for one, this troop has a 25% reduction to skull damage. It's not really a lot, um, but it is important that it does have some of that. It doesn't have any reduction to spell damage, though, and it doesn't have much immunities at all. In fact, it doesn't have any. Um, now let's look at the spell for the troop. The spell here, when you look at it, is extremely useful. In that for one, it actually fits nicely into the current meta of troops. So for example, because it converts all red gems to skulls and all yellow gems to brown, it can be used with troops such as Gob Truffle, such as Queen Beatrix. It can even be used with its uh, half mana start natural troop, which is the Forest Guardian. And when you look at weapons as well, it can be used with weapons such as the Doomed Glaive or, for example, let's go to those weapons and see how um, they look. Let's go to our weapons here. So, for example, it can be used with, see, the Doomed Club because the Doomed Club actually transforms all green gems to Doom Skulls and that troop is actually putting those uh, gems on the board. And it can be used with such weapons as the Doom Glaive, because the Doom Glaive converts all brown gems to Doom Skulls, so it's very useful there. And as I said before, it can be used with such troops, so for example, if we go here, let's go over to Wild Folk, and look at Queen Beatrix. And Queen Beatrix's spell converts, creates 9 green gems and 9 brown gems. So you can use it with troops like this one. So if you go again, let's go back over and go to Goblins. Let's check right here. And Gob Truffle, it can be used with that as well because Gob Truffle creates a mix of 14 green gems and brown gems, right? So it's very useful with that in that respects. So spells usefulness is, is right up there. So if we go back to that troop, let's go to our weekly events and let's look at the typing of the troop. So for one, this is a beast mech. So for a beast, as I mentioned before, the troop Forest Guardian is very useful with this because the Forest Guardian, if we go back, let's go right over to, let's check here, let's go to beasts. And right there, so the Forest Guardian transforms purple gems to skulls and transforms brown gems to green. So if you want to get a nice little loop going right there, you can actually use this new troop along with Forest Guardian. And it's you're going to get a bonus as well because it is a beast. And that new troop that's been added, the Glory Troop, is also a beast. 
All right, so in that respect, the typing of the troop is extremely useful. Now let's go back to that beast troop, that beast mech. And as we look at, um, for example, it being a mech, you can use this along with the mechanist uh, hero class as well. You will get a bonus for using that along with the mechanist class. Um, and this, let's look at our final area of consideration. The final area is the mana color and cost. Now for one, because this troop has fast, it's going to start the battle with 50% mana, which means that actual 12 mana cost that we see right here will be cut down to 6 mana cost, which is very good. In addition, uh, green and blue is a very useful color combination in this game in that we, because you can synergize this with, for example, Leprechaun. Just a simple cast of a Leprechaun with at least 6 to 7 gem, green gems on the board, you'll be able to get this troop spell ready really really fast so in that respect because of it's using green along with blue this troop is extremely viable in that respect so when we look at for example team construction I do have a few teams here ready that I can show you so for example right here up front I'm using the beastly bow so this is a complete uh, beast um, team build right here so we have the beastly bow up front the beastly bow deals a particular amount of damage to an enemy boosted by beast allies. Then it creates six green and, and six yellow gems for each beast ally. Along with it, of course, I have the troop that I'm speaking about and the forest guardian. Along with that, I have a very good troop, Sir Quinn Hadley, which converts all purple gems to yellow and green gems to skull. So you can see where the synergy is right there. Um, and the best thing about it, I'm able to use a complete beast class, so the Warden. I have it leveled all the way to 100, and in every way here, this class benefits from having that particular troop on it. Um, I do have as well several other teams that I can show you. So for example, I have it right here with Queen Beatrix, with the Doom Glaive. So for example, I cast that, and then my Mechamere gets up. I'll be able to cast it and have alignment from my Doom Glaive and my Beatrix, and it goes in a loop from there. And if, for example, I do have it over here with Gob Truffle, which is a very unique um, setup because Gob Truffle does have an extra turn for being a goblin, so it works smoothly with this. And at the bottom right here, I do have the Doomed Club, which will transform all those green gems to, um, to, to Doom Skulls. So several teams that you can take a look at. And at the bottom, I think I do have one more right here. So I have this along with Tink's Steam Whistle. Reason why, uh, Tink has a particular storm, which is an Electro Storm, which is a red and yellow storm. And interestingly, those are the exact colors that Mechamere transforms to green and to brown. So there's a lot of synergy when you look at this particular troop. Now let's take out one of these teams for you and let's put it to work and see how well it, it it works so let's see which one we're gonna work with today how about the one with uh, King Gob Truffle how about this one right, let's pop right in and see how this goes all right so let's check the board right here let's take this map and let's see if we can cast our Leprechaun. so there it is the truth is spell ready and let's see if we can cast it. I'm just going to cast it right away. I'm not going to look at the board much. Cast our Gob Chopper. There it is. And we have a lot of green that we can convert to Doom Skulls. Just like that. Let's cast our Gob Chopper again. Great. Now let's check the board. Gob Chopper again. Let's see if we have any conversion. And we have a lot of it right over here. Down here as well. Let's cast our Doom Club. Just like that. Gob Chopper again. And now let's see if we can convert some gems. There, our troops are spell ready. And let's check the board, see if we have any conversions. And we have it. See what I mean? Now this troop, for me, I think it is an extremely useful troop. The viability ranking on this one is very, very high. Now when we look at the speed, when we look at the immunities, along with reduction to skull damage, and the spell usefulness, along with the type and the mana color, we can say that the Mechamere is extremely viable. So along with that, we're going to be giving this troop a A-plus ranking.
right? So this one is an A plus viability ranking, and that one's from Chris Purpose. All right, guys, I hope you guys found this video very useful. And um, yeah, if you do like it, feel free to leave a like, comment, share the video as well, and um, tell your guild about the channel. Tell them to come over and take a look at um, the videos on the channel. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.